Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff of the Game Capital, and today we are gonna open up a proc line that I have not personally opened in at least two years, possibly three, possibly longer. I'm not sure. And that's a booster box of the newest release of Future Card Buddy Fight. Uh, creators are Bushy Road, the same company that makes Weiss Schwartz, and as you know from our channel, Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, I used to open this stuff quite a bit and have singles for it when the game first came out. I have not touched Buddy Fight in years now, um, but I got just the one box of this set. Uh, anything I get from this uh, video will go on our website, thegamecapital.com. So if you're looking for any singles from this set, from what we pull from this box, they'll be on there. This video does well. If those cards sell through, I'll look into possibly bringing back more of these and going deeper on moving forward. But uh, take a look at the box, refresh my own memory here. So this contains 30 packs. They are on the Buddy Fight Ace era or series, or if you want to refer to it as. And the set is called Drago Knight. And it's the fourth main set of the Ace era. Uh, the primary worlds in this set are Dragon World, Ancient World, Star Dragon World, and Lost World. Now, I remember Dragon and Ancient. I don't know if Star Dragon or Lost World existed back when I knew how to play and was actually active with it. Because it was only for the first, like, on the first era of the game. Uh, whatever the second era or third. I don't know if this is the third or fourth era now. Like, I know Vanguard had the original and then the G era and now the V era. Um, so, Here's what's all in the set, 86 different cards, two buddy rares, four SPs, 15 different secrets, and then eight triple rares, 12 double rares, 15 rares, 14 uncommons, and only 16 commons. I'm not sure if that's how it always used to be, and you can see the reflection there. My tripod is a War of the Spark uh, bundle box, and there's, there's a tripod, and oh, there's, I'm, I'm there. Hello. All right, sorry about that. Um, only 16 commons, that seems really low. Um, so we'll probably get a lot of duplicate commons. I don't remember offhand how many cards even come in a booster pack, or like how many commons and uncommons are in a pack. Um, card fight. Oh, geez. Set down, set down. I just got this all straightened out, too. Oh, well, we'll be fine. Um, all right. We are in. We are peeling. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. There we go. Crack this open. Is there any kind of box toppers or anything still? Promos? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. All right, what we got here? We've got a Govern Dragon Eskashan. And that is Star Dragon World. That's very colorful. Very colorful. So it's a, I think it's still grade one. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've played or even looked at a buddy fight card. Uh, two is the amount of damage or critical or whatever. 4,000 power, 1,000 defense. Maybe it's different terminology, but it, it, that's what it, what it is. Um, and this is promo 68. I think it's a 68. Small question begets a small result. I'm not going to like read what all the cards do because I think it'll be much to me anyway. But we'll just kind of blast through here and see what we find. Hopefully we can find a buddy rear or an SP. That'd be quite nice. Nothing too special there. Let's get all the packs out of the box here. Let's see. I want to open them like that, I think. And move the box off to the side as well. And let's start cracking here, shall we? Let's start cracking. And I'll mention right away too, for those that don't already know, I also live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. I stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and as often uh, besides that as I can. Um, good chance I'll be streaming tonight, possibly as soon as this video goes live, but uh, we shall see. Wow, that's an interesting looking fella. Gar Beaver. It, it's cute and weird, and I kind of love it. Kind of love it. So let's see. So that's a common. I just want to see how many are in each pack here. So we got one common. Oh yeah, the cards, like, they feel so thick. Like, compared to, like, Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, like, the card stock just seems really good and really thick. So they probably stay flat a lot better than some other card games do. Uh, Hikaru of the World. Common. So that's two. Ooh, then we got a foil already. Okay, so they still do the parallel foils. I remember that happening at some point when I was still involved. Awakened Deity Dragon Felgardra. It's a common foil. Let me get one uncommon. Awakened Deity Dragon Genie Gardra. It's another Gardra. And then the rare is Sky Seer Rising Light. All right, so it looks like two commons, one uncommon, one rare. And I don't know if the foil will be every pack or if the foil replaces a common. We'll, we'll figure that out within a couple packs here, though, I'm sure. I'm sure. Ooh. That... That's got to be a good thing, right? Right? What is this? What is this on our second pack? We've got Dragod's Breath Common. 
Gar Swallow. And that is not a foil. So it looks like you either three commons. Well, maybe the foil replaces the rarity that the foil rarity is, if that makes sense. Because our foil was a common, so I replaced a common spot. So Wicked Dragon of Fabrication Demonica. Uncommon is Weather the Dragons. And what is this? What is this? I have no idea. It's just a regular rare? Dimension gain? Is this nothing special? Someone please let me know why it's got a different card back. Is it just because of that world? Is this Lost World? Do all Lost World cards have a different card back? Either way, that looks really cool. That is really cool. That is sharp. And it, it has some shine to it. Did the other rare have some shine to it? Yeah, it did. It did. So I, I guess just a regular rare. But... Yeah, it's Lost World, so... We'll see as we get more Lost World cards if they all have the same back as well, but I'm guessing offhand that all Lost World cards... That all Lost World cards have that alternate back. Just kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I guess a buddy fight, I don't think he makes worlds, so... I guess you can have a different card back. It doesn't really hurt, but... I don't know. It's all interesting all the same. Do I have one stick there? Nope. The card's just so thick, it's hard to tell. It's hard to... Ooh, now we got a higher rarity of something. So three commons again. Ivory Barrier. It's hard for me to read the card names because like right where the card name is when I hold it like this, that's where it says like how long the video's been playing. So it kind of blocks it, so it's kind of awkward. And then what is this? A double rare. Crystallization Phenomenon. Phenomena. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So I'll just uh, bring that close in case anyone who knows look at that wants to read and it'll mean more to them. Again, I'm not going to read what they all do because... It's not going to mean enough to me right now, and I'm not going to pretend I know everything about Buddy Fight right now, because because I don't. But I thought it would be cool to, nice little experiment here, to try putting one box of this, see how the reception is on YouTube from you guys, see how the singles do on the website, even though it's just a one box sample size. And if the views are good, if sales are good, I'll definitely look into bringing more of this in. I just don't know that my, my local player base, local customer base, has any interest from what I've heard from them. Uh, they're very into card fight and Weiss, but Buddy Fight is not their cup of tea, so... We got, come on, baby! Awakened Deity, Felgarda again. Three of that, including the foil already. Dimensional Dragon. Is that a penguin? Deity, Dragon, Tribe. Awakened Deity, Dragon, Garbird. Well, it's a Garbird. Kind of penguinish. And another double rare. Uh, it's Showtime. The nice little star there as well. Ancient World. So I guess we have just the one Lost World card so far. So I'm guessing the primary support in the set is not Lost World, even though it's in the set. Doesn't say on the packaging, like, how many cards of each world exist in the set, but I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're going a little fast here, though. My goodness. So, common. Just going to try to show them, but not say them all at this point. Just kind of get to the rare stuff, because, you know, you know. Link Dragon orders Lynx rare. I'm already making a mess of my piles. I'm going to put the foil up there. Slide my commons over. Sometimes my other rarities just get too far over. And it's not conducive to an efficient opening. Not that this is any by any means efficient right now. I'm out of practice with this set. What can I say? What can I say? That's a cute little birdie. Cute little birdie. There's that beaver thing again. I like that beaver. I like that beaver. We got... Link Dragon, Order of Secret Arts, Thunderbomb, and Rare, Celesphere Decision. Celesphere Decision. We got the same uncommon two packs in a row. I put them in the wrong piles because I'm already confused myself. Oh, jeez. Let's see. I'm going to try to make this a little easier myself. Let me just quick, like, mass open at least the rest of this stack. Because uh, just the ripping open of the packs uh, doesn't always go great. Doesn't always go great. Wow, that middle gets really thick. I thought I was cutting cards, but I don't think I am. Oh my goodness. All right, maybe this isn't faster. Ah. Good. And please don't yell at me. Snip. And yeah, that middle is just so thick. Feels like you're cutting through things you're not supposed to cut through, but it's all good. I promise. I promise. All right. I should almost just like flip over the rare and see what that is, but. All right, so there's two commons. And then we've got a foil, uncommon, Link Blast Chain, a uh, Gaito Mines. And we still got uncommon, so the third card of the pack is either a foil or a common. If the foil is not common, it still takes a common spot, so that's good. Ivory Barrier, and Formation Clear. Yeah, a decent number of uh, 
the Star Dragon World, was it? I think. Um, yeah, Star Dragon World. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Uh, two commons, three commons. If I, if I miss a comment showing you guys, please don't yell at me. Uh, Road to Champion. And Dark Shadow Genji. Rare. I can't remember what this guy's name is offhand. That's bothering me now. I know your name! Is he still in the anime too? Is he still actually in the anime? Like, I, I'm watching Beyblade, believe it or not. And for the third season of Beyblade Burst, they changed the main characters. Though the characters of the first two seasons are still involved. They're just a little bit older now. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Whereas in Pokemon, Ash is, what, a 12-year-old forever? <laughs> they, they look very different now. Now they look more like Naruto style, in my opinion. I've been really watching the Sun and Moon series, but I don't know. I don't know. Road to Champion again. And Combat DD Dragon Shield Base. Feels like not a lot of high rarities so far for all my packs. Only two double rares so far as our highest. Ooh, there's a foil Garbird. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Asteros Star and Left Arm of Genesis Lefties? Sure. Sure. We'll go with that. Does that look Exodia? Left Arm? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Just got him as a foil. Common. Genesis Pulsation Triple Rare. There's our first triple rare. Yeah, I don't remember what points used to be. I don't know what they're going to be. Looks like we'll get at least two triples and four doubles. Possibly three and six. If it's three and six, that matches a card fight box. But you get a lot more packs in Buddy Fight than you do card fight. So it's kind of wonky. These are 30 pack boxes. Uh, but the cost? I don't know. I don't know. It's whatever. Moving on. Moving on. Commons. That common again. Resonance of Bonds. And Proclaim Steer the Stars. So we still have just that one Lost Rural card, I think. I think. Oh, speak of which, I think we got another one. Gar Beaver. Ooh, that looks like higher than a rare coming up. We just gave him three packs in a row. There's not enough commons in this set. My goodness. Dimensional Secret Treasure Nija. And ooh, what is this? Just a double rare. That looks really cool, though. That looks really cool. Dimension Ruin. If I uh, struck any more of this and actually build a deck at any point, I'm actually able to play Lost World just because it looks really awesome. It looks really cool. Let's give you a close up there if you need to see what it does. But that's our third double rare. And I don't know if I showed the triple rare up close, so there you go. By this triple rare, the foil is very plain and generic, but that double rare, like the double rares look cooler than triple rare. The triple rare has the, the gold text. But the foil trim and the double rares looks a lot cooler, in my opinion. So that's kind of interesting. Kind of weird. Kind of odd, in my opinion. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. And then last pack of the first half of the box. Awakened to Deity Dragon. And another triple rare. Dimension Dragon DK. Sure. This one looks... Well, it's got more texture. I guess there's texture in there, triple rare, too. This one just looks better than the air triple rare, being an actual monster. Uh, but there you go, if you need to see what it does. Give me more pain, give love, is the flavor text. Intense. Intense. All right, so we got three triples and two doubles halfway through the box. I'm sorry this is becoming so long. It's going to be over a 25-minute video, most likely. You guys know how long it is already, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, we'll cut these open this time. I think that saves us some time anyway. Saves us a little time. Oops. I can't, I can't handle. So 12, 15, wait. No, 4, 8, 11, 14. We must have had the pack shifted. Because there's not... There should be 15 packs each out of the box? Yeah, 30 packs. 30 packs. Here I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10. That's 15. Never mind. I can't count anymore, I guess. My bad. My bad. All right. Let's try to blast through here now. Commons, uncommon, rare. Like I said, just the, the way the cards are designed with the names on the bottom and stuff, and there's probably some way I can hide the timestamp on my camera, but it just makes it hard to see what I'm looking at, like the rarities and the names. That was not a foil. Not a foil. 
Kind of hard to tell about the foils through the camera too. So I'm trying to look at the cards only through the camera and not the actual cards, that makes sense. So that's kind of slow me down as well. We got a lot of that, dude. Lots of them. Lots of them. And there's that left arm thing again. Ooh, got another Lost World. Got enough. Well, I guess there's two different of that thing that like face different ways. But, so it feels like I'm getting more of them than I am. I guess. I guess. And this time it's just a regular rare. But they, these are so cool. Fallen Fane or a Kleiner Odorio. That thing is interesting. Like, it's kind of like a fish or shark kind of head. But it's got all these spikes, kind of makes me think of Shredder from Turtles. Like, it's a lot going on there. The one whom they called Fane Style Ninja no longer exists. So he's like creatures that got sent to the Shadow Realm or something. I know it's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, obviously, but I don't know. It was not a Lost World. All right. So I guess there's only Lost World rares and higher in this set. Do common and uncommon Lost World cards exist from other sets? They just don't have the lower rate support in this set? I don't know. I don't know about that, dude. Okay. Yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you know about Lost World. Let me know. Let me know. Like, is it only rare and above? If you play Lost World, are you playing an only rare and higher deck? It's another common foil. I'll count how many of each rarity foil we get at the end here as well. Dimensional Secret Treasure and Gargantua Gate. Yeah, I mentioned we'll have singles posts on our website, thegamecapital.com. Uh, the release date's Friday. Uh, but even if we ship stuff right away, like, I'm pretty sure we're allowed to ship. We just can't have it land before Friday. But... We'll probably just be safe and not ship until Friday, ju just to be safe, just in case, just in case. DD Creations Fane Flare. But yeah, listening tonight, nothing would be able to ship till at least tomorrow anyway, Thursday, so. Shouldn't be any worries, shouldn't be any worries, no concerns. Don't want to break any release dates or anything, that's no good. Wicked DD Dragon, and another triple rare, Sword Flash. Goa Goa, I guess? That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Only does the one critical or one damage or whatever. But 6,000 power. That seems above average. D-share. You have three more cards with D-share on your field. Soul Guard. D-share. When this card attacks, it destroys your opponent's monsters. Stand this card. I'm not sure what D-share is. That's a new mechanic that I don't remember hearing before when I played back in the day. But I'm sure there are new mechanics. Just like card fight got, you know, Legion and grade fours and stuff after I wasn't playing. Um, yeah, I've never Legioned or ridden a grade four in my life in Vanguard. And a rare. But I did hear for Vanguard, for card fight, uh, Brutal Jack should be coming back. So I might be able to play a Cap Butler deck again like I did back in the day. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully Cap Butler can be viable. You know, it's not consistently a winner. It just, it's a fun deck for me to play. So there's another double rare cross pair slash. Cross, pair, slash. And there is what it all does if you want to pause and read at your leisure. All right, five packs left. I can get this to be not much more over 20 minutes in the end here. Going a lot faster in the back half. thought that was a foil. It's like, did we get two of the same foil in a box? That seems wrong. An Awakened DD Dragon Gar Cat. That's cute. I like these Gar things. All these Gars. Well, there's Gargantuan Punisher. Oh, what is the main character's name? It's bothering me so much. Everyone's going to yell at me in the comments now. Everyone's going to yell at me. We got our first rare foil. I think our first rare foil. Possibly our first rare foil. It's a rare. I know that much. And then uncommon. And sounds like card stock's too thick for its own good. Because like... And then there's right arms. We got two left arms and one right arm. We got three arms now. Three arms. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What is this? Everything's shiny. Is this a god pack? Are there god packs? I don't know what's happening. We got secret rare. Secret rare. Gargantua Knight Dragon. 10,000 pop. Okay, let me, let me set these down and sleeve them as I go. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if there's a secret rare in every pack or how this works. There are 15 different secret rares in the set. So I mean, if you get one per box, there's 16 boxes in a case. I don't know. It could be one, per, one pack per box. I don't know. But this is interesting. So, there we got Gargantua Knight Dragon, which is the uh, featured of the set. The featured of the set. So that, that means it's good, right? That means it's good. Give you a close-up there. Accept the powers I bestow upon you and fight my warriors. 
All right. All right. That's one secret. Okay. These are all secret rares. Are they sticking? Come on. See, I always do my best not to even touch the surface of the cards with this high end stuff. Only the edges. You seem thicker too. I don't know. Uh, Guard Knight Strash. So, sorry, be able to be 20 minutes, but not, now I'm slowing down because we got all secret rares. And I don't know if Alvis is amazing or rare. I don't know. So, I'm just assuming it's good. I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. I don't know. Uh, you may only cast this card. Well, it's not going to me, but I'm just kind of oodin' on here. I don't know. I don't know what to think. What am I supposed to think and feel? I don't know. Next secret rare is Gar E Burst. Gar E Burst. Give you a close up there. Make sure you guys can read that if you need to. Limits are meant to be exceeded. Show the world your powers. And secret rare number four. So there's 15 in the set. Like it could be one pack per box. I don't know. DD Dragon Duo Beam Gar Twin Saber. That's a bit of a mouthful. There's an item. And there's what it all does. The swords in which the light of awakening resided will guide the boy to his new destiny. His new destiny. And then, oh, I was just talking about Gargantuan Punisher or whatever. And here we've got Deity Gargantua Crusher. Let me show you this totally aces new technique. Totally aces. Sure, I guess that, maybe that's his catchphrase. What is your name? It's bothering me so much. But there's the impact, and there's what it all does. So we got a secret rare pack. I don't, again, I don't know how rare that is. I have no clue. But if there's 15 secrets in the set, that means... Okay, let's assume you get one of those packs per box. That means you get 16 packs like that. So that means you get three, three of each with one pack giving you the fourth of each. And I think three is a place that Buddy fights, so... So... Best case, if you're trying to pull these things, is you open a whole case, you would get a play set of three of each secret rare. But I have no idea. It could be just, maybe you get three secret rare packs per box. So maybe most boxes have either a secret rare pack or a buddy rare or an SP. I don't know. There's two buddy rares in the set. I don't know if you get both in a case or one buddy rare total per case. Back in the day in the first sets, you got one buddy rare in an entire case, but there's also only one buddy rare per case. Or one buddy rare per set as well, I should say. Um, SPs, I think we usually got four in a case back in the day. Back then, they also had uh, SPs for card fight. Now they have SBRs and stuff instead. Um, there's only four different SPs in this set. So maybe you get one of each SP and one of each buddy rare in a case. And then secret rares, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's finish this off here, shall we? So we got some commons and a common and a common. Awaken to DD Dragon. And that I think is like the main villain, I think. D Zenith. But he's a Dragon World? I'm confused. But that looks like he's from Lost World. You may only cast this card during your opponent's final phase. Drop two Dimension Dragons from your hand. Put the top two cards of your deck into your gauge. Then put up to one Lost World from your deck into your hand. Maybe Lost World goes in other decks? Maybe Lost World isn't like its own world? I don't know. Someone help me out with this Lost World stuff, because I'm very confused and I, I want to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know. And last pack, last chance for glory here. We got a double rare, looks like. Got a double rare. And it is Evolution Cyrus Velut Dragon. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. Velut. Sounds like a fancy sneeze. I don't know. I don't know. So, interesting opening. Again, I don't fully know what I'm looking at. Let me just uh, quick see here the foils. I may have missed one. It's quite possible. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Looks like we got the one rare. We got two uncommons and three commons. That actually sounds right from back in the day. So six parallel foils in a box. Six in a box. Uh, one rare in a box. There were 15 rares in the set. So if you have a whole case of 16 boxes, you maybe get one of each rare parallel foil plus one extra. Maybe. Maybe. And then double rares, we got one, two, three, four, five double rares. Triple rares. It's hard to pick things up off this playmat that I've got, you know, bottom side up. Three triple rares. Triple trips. We tripped the trips. And then the one pack that had... 
the five secret rares. Please let me know if you have any idea how rare of a pull that is. How excited should I be, have been, etc. Hopefully that was the right amount or too much, if anything. But that was interesting. That was interesting. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you watch... Obviously you watched it if you're still listening to me. Um, share with your friends who like Buddy Fight. If you like this, you want me to see a... Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. If you want to see me open more Buddy Fight, make sure you watch this video. Obviously like you already just have. Share it with your friends. And uh, like I said... We will have the singles you saw pulled from this video on our website, thegamecapital.com. If they're not on there yet when you watch this video, like the day it goes live, they'll probably be there very soon. Because I'm probably going to this video go live at like 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern, and I'll, as soon as I get home, I'm going to set this video upload, and then I'll work on listings. So the cards should be there or in the process of being listed, like right now, if they're not already there. So um, check that out, and if... The views and reception of this video is good. If we sell through a chunk of the cards pretty well, I will definitely look into getting more of this set and more Buddy Fight moving forward and uh, see how that goes for us. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and rock smash the like button if you haven't already. Visit thegamecapital.com for your Buddy Fight, at least for this set so far, and all your other trading card game needs. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever, wherever that may be, possibly later tonight on Twitch, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. And again, if Buddy Fight's such a thing, we also open card fight on this channel a lot. If you guys want to see White Schwartz, let me know that too. Maybe you'll kind of open a box of that here or there as well. We'll see. Try new things, see what works, see what you guys like, and we go from there. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, wherever, whenever that may be.